5 lesser known but truly baffling disappearances. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Here are 5 lesser known but truly baffling disappearances. Number 5. Anna Christian Waters 5-year-old Anna Christian Waters arrived home from kindergarten at 1 p.m. on January 16, 1973, and after changing her clothes, went outside to play in the yard. At 2.20 p.m., Anna's mother went to look for her, but Anna was nowhere to be seen. After searching in vain for her daughter, Michael contacted the police at 3 p.m. The initial search centered around Parisima Creek, which wasn't far from the family's home. Even after a four-day search, there was no trace of the little girl. Three decades later, Anna's half-brother Nanda remembered something and told his family that he had seen a couple driving alongside Anna on the road one afternoon and trying to convince her to get into their car. They were unsuccessful. It remains unclear whether the couple eventually succeeded in kidnapping Anna on another day or whether a different type of tragedy befell the young girl. Number 4. Shelly Ludi. Shelly Ludi had received the good news that she was to be promoted to being a full-time waitress at the Lanark Diner in Upper Darby, Pennsylvania, and was happy when she arrived at work on August 23, 1982. The 19-year-old and her 2-year-old daughter Jenny was also about to move into their own apartment and it would have been the first time they would be living on their own. Shelly dotted on Jenny and would bring her treats every night she arrived home. Shelly's mother, Barbara, also worked at the diner and arrived just as Shelly was getting ready to leave. Shelly asked if she could continue to borrow her stepfather's Impala to visit a girlfriend after her shift and Barbara said she should just stop at home and ask her stepfather for permission. Shelly said she would do so, put a packet of M&Ms in her bag for Jenny and started for the door at the diner. As she got to the door, a male customer who looked to be in his 20s grabbed hold of Shelly's arm. She pulled away but spoke to the man for a few moments after which he left. Shelly left shortly after and the witnesses later said they saw her talking to the same man in the parking lot. She then entered the diner again to get her coat and waved at her mother before leaving again. Shelly and the Impala were never seen again. It is unclear whether she even made it to the car which was parked across the road from the diner. Number 3. Phoenix Calden after 23-year-old Phoenix Calden attended church on December 18, 2011, she went to sit in her Chevy Blazer. Her father saw her leave at around 2.20 p.m. and assumed she was going to the store or visit a friend. She was never seen again. Her car was found hours after her disappearance, abandoned in East St. Louis with her ID, purse, and glasses still inside. Because of the crime rate in that area, police believed that Phoenix had been a victim of foul play. Family members joined the search, visiting exotic dance clubs to determine whether Phoenix might have been forced to join the sex trade. It was eventually revealed that Phoenix never enrolled for the next semester of college and that she lived with a boyfriend her parents were unaware of before moving back home. It was also revealed that Phoenix was using drugs at the time of her disappearance. Phoenix's parents lost their savings in their home because of a privately funded search for their daughter. In 2021, they still have no answers and no closure. Number 2. Sherry Mann On February 22, 1985, 8-year-old Sherry Mann got off her school bus along with three schoolmates. Her friends got into a car waiting for them, driven by Debbie Burke, one of the girl's mothers. Burke saw Sherry walking past a bluish-green Dodge van and then turned the corner to walk the last 150 yards for her house. This would be the last time anyone laid eyes on Sherry. Sherry never made it home. Her stepfather heard a school bus stopping and leaving and expected Sherry to arrive home within a few minutes. He wanted to meet her at the end of the long driveway, but her mother thought it would be fine for the girl to walk home because it was a nice day. However, as the minutes passed and Sherry still wasn't home, they started to worry. They went outside to look for her but couldn't find her anywhere. There were no footprints in the snow on the driveway, but there were tire impressions in the soil around 50 yards from the house. And at number 1, The Lost Boys of Pickering On March 17, 1995, six teenage boys left a spring break party during which they drank a considerable amount of alcohol. That was the last time anyone saw them. It is thought that in their drunken stupor, the boys may have stolen a motorboat and paddleboat on Frenchman's Bay in Pickering and headed out onto Lake Ontario. This theory was strengthened by a witness who told police that the boys had told him they were going to goof around on a boat. Police concluded that Jay Boyle, Michael Cummins, Daniel Higgins, Chad Smith, Robbie Rumball, and Jamie LaFaber likely ended up in the water after their boats capsized and they all died of hypothermia. However, a massive search didn't find any bodies, boats, or clothing. The only item ever found in connection with the boys' disappearance was a gas can that belonged to the motorboat. 
Some people believe that the voice never went out on the boats, but instead set up the whole scenario as a ply to disappear on purpose. No new clues have ever been discovered as to where the voice may be or where the remains might be located. After DNA testing and a pair of Levi jeans thought to have been worn by Jay Boyle was revealed in 2018 to have belonged to another teenager that had gone missing. And this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you on the next video.